All right, let's talk about Space Jam. Hey guys, Bonjour Show here, and yep, we got Space Jam. Now, I already reviewed the other two Looney Tunes movies that came after this one. So if you want to go see those reviews, I have a playlist where I have all my movie reviews. And I currently like have 73. So if you want to check out my, my, my reviews on the other two Looney Tunes movies, uh, you have, you'll have, you're you going to have to search up a channel and go to the playlist section. And if you see SS Movie Reviews, and then that's where you'll find them. But if you want a short detail on my opinions on those movies, well, here it is. Looney Tunes Back in Action was a good movie. I mean, there were some flaws, like the human characters, the plot, and the animation looking a bit uncanny, and the colors being a bit off. And the colors being a bit off a of point, but it was still a really good movie. But still a good movie that was pretty faithful to the to the original franchise. And then there's Space Jam: A New Legacy, which one, which was one of the first movies I reviewed, and that movie was pretty mediocre, as it was just felt like a film just for Warner Brothers to just milk their properties. So I think let's go back to, but I think it's fair since I've already reviewed Space Jam: A New Legacy. I think it's fair that we go back to the original Space Jam. This time, this one starring Michael Jordan. Now, I think I've seen Space Jam, like, last year, but I decided to revisit this, revisit, so that's, but I decided to watch it today for a pro, for a review. And, yeah. There's, this is, this is a movie where a lot of people is calling it, oh, it's so bad, it's good. And... I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I really had had. I I I really enjoyed watching Space Jam. And I'll get to some. And I'll get to that after I get after I discuss the plot. The plot of the film surrounds Michael Jordan, who is a bas who is a famous basketball player. However, he decides to turn to back to baseball. However, that doesn't seem to go well. Meanwhile, with the Looney Tunes. There's these aliens that threaten to take that threaten to take over the Looney Tunes world. World, world, and and they end up stealing some strength from other other players, players. So the Looney Tunes have must en enlist help from Michael Jordan, who fall, man, who gets to they just grab him, who just grabbed him with a rope and suck them into their world. World. Now. Nah. So now they have to. So now they have to fight, fight the monsters, the moon stars. I think. So yeah, you one thing you might notice about this is that Space Jam has a pretty stupid plot, about a, a famous basketball player meeting up with Bugs Bunny. Bunny, and yes, yeah, Space Jam's Space Jam's plot is pretty. Is pretty stupid, but it's the stupid enjoyable kind of way, because this this kind of plot actually led to some memorable memorable moments, like the see, like when LeBron enters the Looney Tunes world, 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 and world, and of course that, and of course that scene where, scene where Bugs and Daffy try to. Try to locate where Michael's Michael's back. Michael's back, ma back, and on the way that gets attacked by 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 the by the family dog Charles. I really f I found that that scene where Bugs and Debbie tried to find Michael's back really enjoyable. Excuse me. I also real I also man I also I also want to praise the animation here. The animation is really good for the Looney Tunes, and I like how cre how creative the monsters are. How they went from just. Uh, how they just went from. Little aliens to actually these big bulky, sized monsters. They they are they they're, they're, they're the design the designs they gave for the monsters are really creative. And like I said, the animation is pretty faithful to the original animation from the shorts. Shorts. And of course, the Looney Tunes still ha the Looney Tunes 
still have their comedic origin, goofy personality, personalities and humor, which 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 is the main reason what makes them so iconic in the first place. First place, place. Hell, even the human characters are also pretty enjoyable, especially Michael Jordan and Bill Murray and Murray. And I'm surprised Bill Murray's in this movie. Movie, and although he doesn't get that much much screen time as Wayne, he still had some moments where he was very enjoyable. I also I also like how I also like this. I actually I also like how the song movie introduced to me some some catchy songs. Songs and a lot of the songs here are pretty catchy and pretty n recognizable. Nicable, cool. and of course, the basketball game. The basketball game is probably the most iconic, one of the most iconic scenes from the movie. Period. Period. And this is where the animation really leaps out the screen screen as the basketball game is just full with the Looney Tunes' wacky antics antics and it just feels so much and they actually feel so ref and they act and we act and they actually and it's actually really enjoyable how see the Looney Tunes verse against the monsters stirs with Michael Jordan or then uh, I'm surprised that the price of the Looney Tunes aren't CGI real in CGI. Well, this is the nineties and excuse, excuse me. And that would kinda of look and that would kinda of look a bit weird. But I, uh, however I still really enjoy like this animation. In fact it, it kinda of has that who framed Roger Rabbit kind of vibe there. However, Space Jam is without isn't without its flaws. For starters, again, while I, while I do say I praise the animation for being faithful to its or original material, in the real world it can look pretty uncanny at 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 the point. It can look pretty uncanny. Uncanny. And uh, the, the end, and I want to talk about the where they where the humans are used for 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 random objects in animation, like when Michael Jordan gets folded up to a ball and when actually gets was it gets actually blown up into a full balloon, yeah, the CGI there for those scenes really definitely hasn't aged well, well as it definitely looks weird to look. Look and yes, I know Space Jam is a pretty weird, is a weird movie, movie. So I get the fact that it's going, it has elements like that. And then there's, and then there's the voice acting. Billy West's performance as Bugs Bunny isn't really that good. It doesn't sound very, and it doesn't really sound very similar to Bugs Bunny. <clears throat> On the ant. And it really doesn't sound very similar to Bugs Bunny. And and most of the voice acting here, I mean, some are very similar to the similar to their ori to the original characters' voices, but the probably the one but like I said, the one I didn't really find the most is Billy West for as Bugs Bunny and the Bradley Baker for for Daffy Duck, even though Br the Bradley Baker's performance as Daffy here isn't as bad as the as his performance as his performance in New Looney Tunes new, in the New Looney Tunes twenty fifteen series, but it sounds a bit like Daffy, but it's kind of a bit high pitched. Oh, and speaking of the Looney Tunes, let's talk about Lola's character. Lola isn't all that great here, to be honest. As she doesn't really have much of a personality. She's only there just because, oh, it's basketball and she's into basketball. Which, I guess that's her personality that she's a girl that likes basketball. But they could have just expand more on her character. But she's only there just because, just to serve as a crush opponent for Bugs. Bugs. And I will admit, this, the, their, their chemistry be between Bugs and Lola were really are really cute are were 
were admittedly kind of funny at, at times and uh, adorable. But I feel, however, I wish they kind of explain more of Lola's character here. Also, like I said, Space Jam has a dumb premise. And it's about a famous basketball player meeting up with the Looney Tunes. As a kid, it will probably be enjoy. It would kind. Of, it's actually kind of enjoyable. As an adult, though, it can be a little weird. But, like I said, it's well executed very well because it's, it, because it's so it because again for one it it the, the it still has the same the same Bluetooth charm, arm and it led to some memorable moments. Moments. And I, and again, even though Space Jam has a dumb premise, it's well executed, very well. So that's pretty much all I had to say about Space Jam. I mean, not much to say here, since I think because other other critics have reviewed the film and their reviews and other reviewers did a better job on covering this movie. However. However, I still really enjoyed Space Jam, even though, yeah, Space Jam is a dumb movie, but it's, it's the good kind of dumb. Sure, sure, the animation can look uncanny in the real world, some of the voice acting doesn't fit well, doesn't fit well with the characters, and Lola's character pers personality is kind of lost, is, is kind of lost here. The well, the, the well-executed concept, the animation... Animation, the performances, says, and the basketball game scenes are really, are really enjoyable, 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 and and it definitely and it definitely makes it a fun time. Time I argue is probably one. I argue say that Space Jam is definitely one of the most underrated films of all time. Time it's got like I said, well done performances from Dwayne for like from Mike Michael Jordan, and Bill and Billy Bill Murray, animation that's pretty faithful to the to the original shorts. This might be it could be on un Kenya times. Times the basketball scenes are really enjoyable. Basketball scenes are really enjoyable. Scenes are really and there's the villain which I actually really enjoyed the villain and his motivation. He, and I like his motivation that he's that he decides to have to send the monsters there down so they can take over the Looney Tunes world because their amusement park isn't doing so well. And I really enjoyed the villain here. And and again, the movie has a lot of memorable scenes that I really enjoyed. So yeah, that's all I can say about Space Jam. Jam Space Jam is definitely an enjoyable dumb film. Film. And if you guys are, and if, and, and, I'm, and this is something kids were like, since this was pretty popular with kids. So I'm going to give this movie a 70 out of, a 70. A 70%. This movie is real. This movie has a dumb concept. It has some animation that kind of looks uncanny and Lois character is kind of lost here. Bad as stands, the its positives are enough to enough to make it an enjoyable basketball game. Again, Space Jam and the Legacy Space Jam is far from a, from a from a, a from an amazing movie, but I still really enjoyed it. Well, okay, well guys, that's it for my review on Space Jam. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel and I'll be and I'll be sure to post more movie reviews. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.